Hello from the archives of Daphne Diaries. I found this in my hard drive. I had a contract with Air Asia back in 2017 and 2018, doing a travel show where they filmed all over Asia. It was called Red Talks with Daphne. This was the first episode when they flew me to Indonesia to film episodes in Yogyakarta in 2017. All of this happened in one day. The morning was spent filming in Kota Gede, a small 16th century walled town. You can watch the full episodes in the Air Asia pages, which I will link down below. So this is behind the scenes. I love my amazing team who all became my friends. We were very casual and ready to do anything. I changed in public bathrooms, wore rollers on my head, and I even got so sick. I ate something that I was allergic to. In the afternoon, we drove to Prambanan. The Indonesians built this in the 9th century. This is Prambanan Temple. It is dedicated to the Hindu god Shiva. And up to this day, you could see very strong influences of Hindu architecture in Indonesian buildings. Door. It rained like torrential rain. I thought it was all going to be canceled, but we still went. This is Manohara, the center of Borobudur's study, and uh, it's a government owned facility. It's actually a hotel facing Borobudur, and it's also the best place to see the sunrise and the sunset. Now we've come all the way this far, and it suddenly rained. It's typical of this time of the year. But don't worry because the hotel is very prepared. So if you wish to see the sunset, you can still do so, rain or shine. Um, they gave us this uh, raincoat and flashlights. Ah. Hello. So apparently we're not the only crazy ones trying to see Borobudur under the rain. But we have come prepared. Hi. Hello. Hello. And how far have you come? From? Where are you from? Uh, uh, Germany. Germany. And Canada. Canada. Oh, oh, really? Cool. <laughs> Enjoy. You too. There you go. They've been so used to tourism here that they have, they're all prepared with raincoats and flashlights. The only thing missing really is boots. My poor shoes. Oh well. So there are 72 small stupas surrounding this very large stupa in the middle of Borobudur. And in each small stupa, there are Buddhas inside. Uh, like here, you can take a peek. And uh, a lot of them don't have heads anymore because maybe at one point in time, they were being looted by antique collectors. But there's uh, one stupa here that shows you the Buddha inside without the cover and this is apparently so that people won't make an effort to stick their hands in but I remember when I was a child and my parents used to come here they always told me about this legend that if you stick your hand in there and actually get to touch the Buddha then you get good luck but now they have signs saying you can't do it so I'll just take a peek So now I'm going around the main stupa three times, clockwise. Uh, apparently they believe that that's for good luck. The only problem is I can't tell where I started because it's totally symmetrical and everything looks the same. So. Yeah, it must be all related. So what makes it the
And that's Daphne Diaries from my Yogyakarta archives. See you again soon.